I gotta put my sunglasses on. We got that bright Phoenix sun today. We're at a Goodwill way on the east side of town. We don't make it out here much lately because all of our antique malls that we resell at, they're way on the west side of town. They keep us pretty busy, so we don't get to make it out here, but I just feel like I've been neglecting them. So let's stop neglecting this awesome Goodwill and go find something. Let's do it. What are you looking for? Mm, anything that sparks my interest. Q drone shot. Pretty excited rolling up to this goodwill i think about it a lot it's just so far from home we don't get to come too much there's two of these here and it's not a gun i sell a ton of but it's always a good one to have at least one of in my booth so i would get those but they're ten dollars a piece no good no good what is that hello beautiful this is like very heavy very substantial Starting over in the dishes section today. Just kind of feel, feeling, well, actually, there's quite a bit. Wow. That's getting bought. That is two. The chipettes. That's getting bought too. Very nice. Well done, Goodwill. A lot there. Two forty nine. Yeah, we gotta buy that. I think that's from IKEA. It's a nice little pendant light little basket. They're real cute. This is one of those um, yogurt glasses. I see those all the time. Little cupcakes. This is actually a pretty regular occurrence. All these old foam filters. Every now and then one of them will actually be a neutral density filter or a polarizer. And those can actually be pretty good whenever you find them like this. But and that looks like it might actually be one. It is a ND 0.9 divot. I might actually purchase this one. That's pretty good. Uh, a lot of the times, however, they're like these goofy photo filters that because of digital photography really aren't that useful anymore. Okay, so I found this little bowl here. It looks vintage. There's no um, brand on it, so I don't know if it's actually jadeite or not, but it looks like it could be. And I think because it has that look, people in my antique mall would be a little bit inclined to purchase it because it's just that color and that style. I love finding DIY stuff at Goodwill. Check these out. What? Just little Rolling Stones logo there. Some stars at the bottom. These are probably the weirdest leaves I've, I've ever seen in my life. They kind of look like a cozy teddy bear. Very strange. I don't like them. It's probably the only pair of Levi's that I don't like. I've just been looking through these shirts, trying to find some that fit me. And I look up and are you serious? 349, you're going home with me. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Hannah had already checked out and was trying to leave and I was walking from the back of the store. And there's a Christmas Stimpy. Santa Stimpy. <laughs> this is like one of my best finds in a long time. Like, it's so funny. Seriously. Listen, we're at another Goodwill, even further away from home than that last one was. We're real deep now, we're about as far east as you can go. Not gonna show up really well on this camera, but there's a Lost Dutchman over here, a really interesting rock formation. So I don't mean to overdo it with the drone footage, but 
This place is too beautiful not to put on flying cameras, so check this out. Another good wolf here, even further from home. This one's way out here, but there's one more down the road that's even further out. And then we're basically on the edge of town. But uh, this is a pretty good Goodwill. I say that about most of them, don't I? I do like the ones out here on this side of town. This is probably my favorite Goodwill for dishes and kitchenware. They usually have something that's very exciting. Oh, this is so cute. Like this. This is something I would want for my kitchen. Because I do have some petite pans, but they're the cornflower. And I don't want to collect the cornflower because it's so common. I like the, the friendship birds and the wildflower patterns the best. So I'm going to start to slowly replace the things in my kitchen with uh, the patterns I like. And then I'll go just put the ones I have in my antique mall booth. It's totally fine. This is really cute. I like after school cookies. Come on, old bag wall, give me toys, give me trains. Or football helmets. That's cool. Makes me wish I had some bigger gumball machines. Oh, look at these at at watercolors. What? That's cool. What else? Stamp ink. Mm, darts. 349 is too much for me, but it's not really bad if you're just a kid in here looking for Nerf stuff. A couple Skylanders. McDonald's toy Skylander in there too. All right, I don't see anything, but there's more. Holy crap, what is all this? Georgians travel through five million years of human history. Okay, that's nice. How much Hulk? $1.49, let's probably get that. Oh baby. Man, I wish the back of this was here. Oh, it's missing its battery cover. Dang it. That's a uncommon gun. Very uncommon. Look at this. That seems old. I should probably consider that too. So if you are part of this world, you know that Christmas is coming very soon. And I saw these salt and pepper shakers. I thought maybe it would be good to have them in my booth um, because I don't really have a ton of Christmas stuff in my booth right now and if you walk through that antique mall right now it's just screaming Christmas so I don't know if I'm gonna do much to continue getting more Christmas stuff but if I see something good I'll grab it but this is $6.49 it was probably $6.49 new so that's a gnaw for me dog this is pretty crazy just a Rebel XTI sitting here. No big deal. Is there a battery inside? There is. Tragedy struck last night. I actually made myself a cup of tea before I went to bed and um, it was in my Alice in Wonderland mug that I found a couple months ago at the thrift that I love a lot and I broke it. I smashed it on the floor and it went into a million pieces and I was really sad about it. So now I'm in the mug section trying to hopefully one day come across another Alice in Wonderland mug. Because it was so cute. I loved it. But the odds of me finding one today, not good. But the odds of me finding one eventually, yeah, totally. Just gotta look. They don't have any today, but you know, I'm gonna keep looking forever until I find one. No way. I never expect something like this to come on at the thrift store. Uh, it actually works pretty well. Now, check out the listings here real quick. It's kind of tough, something like this, because it's got a $25 sticker on it. 
right? So I already know it's probably kind of a hundred-ish dollar camera. And so sure enough, here you go. Recently sold 75 bucks. Uh, recently sold 130 that's with bigger lens than this two batteries and charger I'm 98% I have sure that I have a charger at home for this so like I could probably leave and get 70 80 bucks But I'd also have to come up with a CF card to test it Because this old bad boy here doesn't take regular SD cards. It takes old older CF cards I doubt I'm gonna mess with it though. I will get it for just that twenty dollars with a coupon, so it's tempting, but it's just I'm too old. I just don't really, really want to mess with it. But I don't know. I'm gonna think about it. Some little baby Tupperwares. They don't have the correct lids though, so we're not gonna get them. I've got some in my booth right now with the correct lids, and they're slow sell, so we're gonna leave them alone for now. Camera lens mug. Be a sweet lens if it was real. Hey, look, it's Pilgrim Bob checking the blanket section I saw somebody that uh, walked by with a really cool crochet blanket it was very like manly and modern and I was like good fine good for you I wouldn't have got it but I'm glad he grabbed it because there's a bunch of crochet blankets here Ooh. we have a granny square granny squares are my favorite okay let's see let's inspect what size is it it looks like a decent size it's decent colors it's a little simplistic I would have liked it to have a little more color on the insides, but you know, granny square blankets take a lot of time. They are not easy to make, so kudos for you for even doing it. $6.49, that's pretty good for it. Um, I think we'll go ahead and grab it. It's not bad. So I'm standing in the checkout line right now, waiting to buy all our stuff and sell these. Yellow tags are also half off, so those are bought. That was all right. I got some weird toys, but one of our antique malls does better with Nerf guns and Lego and just kind of timeless stuff, right? But one of our antique malls we're finding does really well with older, much older plushies and stuff like that. So that, uh, what was that, Grumpy? Sleepy? Sleepy Duck, with his eyes closed. That sleepy, so that sleepy doll that I got is perfect. We stopped at a Walmart way outside of town. It looks like it's a good choice. Well, I just want to see if, they, if there's a Yu-Gi-Oh thing I want and a Pokemon thing I want. Neither of which seem to exist here either, but this is far more stock than any other place we've been, isn't it? Yeah. Is that Vivid Voltage? Let's go. Let's go. All right, well, oh, there's more. Just take all of it. I finally have Vivid Voltage. I even got a starter deck. Woohoo! Last stop of the day, Goodwill Boom. I, uh, I bought some of multiple games on my top five most valuable games list. Came from here. Multiple ones. Two of them, I think. I think I got my Streets of Rage here. And there's one of those uh, drag racing games that's like, for no reason, a $100 game. And uh, I got that one here too. And I got them at the same time. Yeah. Now that I'm thinking about it, uh, maybe we could repeat that luck now. This Goodwill is pretty much a hit or miss. So I'm, um, you know, cautiously optimistic. It's got a lot of stuff on the shelves though, that's for sure. Some Ray Dunn. It doesn't say Ray Dunn, so I guess it doesn't count. Oh, honey pots are cute. Cute little French press. I've got one at home and I love it. I've been converted to a French press coffee make coffee person, I guess. Super good. Takes a little longer to make, but it's worth it. Wow. This might be the most saucepans and skillets I've ever seen at a Goodwill. Like, boom! There's so many. That's a serious amount of cookware. <laughs> this is kind of cool. Ice bucket. Here is a Pokemon tin. 
649, excuse me. Rip. This is a shame. These corning ore percolators are actually pretty good to sell online, but this one is missing all its bits. It's a rare pattern as well, so it's a bummer. Butterfly wings. T-Rex. Oh, baby. Heck yeah. I just sold one of these for a bunch of money in my antique mall. That's a definite buy. These giant pets do really well in my antique mall. I kind of wish this was adult size. Yes. I bet Pants would want to go in that. He would love it. Ooh. Wireless. Yep. 349. I'm sure it's crap, but 349, we might as well try it. Marlboro. <laughs> I think I'll go ahead and get that for $1.49. It's a little, uh, it's a little discolored. I've already got one sitting in my antique mall. Probably don't need another if it's not perfect. Well, it just keeps getting better. Yes, please. <laughs> Let's go. Those are some, I mean, that's not like crazy money makers, but I would bet I'm gonna get about 20 bucks out of this uh, Snoopy one. I sold the other large Charlie Brown for 20, but it wasn't, I don't know if it was a sports one or not. I can't actually remember, but either way, that's good. They're worth, worth a couple bucks. Check out the plushies real quick. It doesn't really look like a lot. It's kind of bare. Fetty boop, okay. Oh no. <laughs> what is the chance? This is like the third one this month. It's a little bit smaller than the last Yoshi backpack I found, but uh, plushy backpacks, almost no matter what it is, we sell them really well. Heck yeah. Hello darkness, my old friend. Poochie's missing an ear, so I can't go on my shelf. They're always missing an ear. Oh good, found a pair of black Levi's that aren't $15. All of them today have been at least 15, if not 20. <sighs> it's, a, it's a constant struggle. I just need to find some jeans. What do you find? All of it. Oh my gosh, Yoshi! Right. Mom. It's all really cheap too. Oh, nice. You found anything? Found a cheap pair of Levi's, which never happens. High five. So I don't really mean to overdo the drone shot, okay? But we're on this side of town, and you really got to see what this side of town looks like. All right. Ooh, isn't that beautiful? That's called uh, The Lost Dutchman. It's the only other thing I know about it is if you ever watch Raising Arizona, that, that rock right there is in the background of every other shot. Go back and watch it again. I'm gonna bring it back down to me now. I'm not exactly sure where I am. I think that's me. That's me. Hello. How about that? How about it? That's how you do it. I love flying on this side of town. It's beautiful. Beautiful. We are home and I feel pretty good about today. For me, speaking for myself, our newest toy booth uh, it's taken a few weeks for us to figure out what's gonna sell there and what's not now that we know what's selling there really well I know better what to buy for it and I, and I feel like I did really well today to buy a bunch of stuff to go in there so how did you do today I feel like I did a pretty it was a pretty solid day of thrifting I found some good stuff um, some things that I know are definitely good sellers so I'm happy with it uh, is this gonna go in an antique mall or what this is actually going on my Depop page because I've been selling crochet blankets on there really quickly so right. well we keep putting them in your antique booth and they'll sit there and one will sell a month maybe but you sell like four or five of a month on Depop I do for a little bit more than I put them in my antique mall so good good, good good well what are these these are a pair of black Levi's that I can cut up because I am down to my last pair of black Levi's and the black and blue sell the best so awesome definitely want to get more of those cool well I don't even remember everything I got but I know some of it um are you gonna put this on Depop you think or should we put it in a toy booth 
I mean, I could sell it on Depop, so. We, we, <laughs> these don't sell quite as fast as something like her blanket does, but uh, we put them on Depop and sold them. But I put the first one, I put the Sonic one we found the other day in our toy booth. And I think maybe that's the second time I've put one in a toy booth. So I don't really have enough information to know if I should keep cramming them in there. But I know it would look good hanging next to that Sonic, wouldn't it? It would. It really would. Um, find of the day, for sure. <laughs> I think it's so silly. Booty, got booty cheeks. Booty cheeks and all. <laughs> um, I think we'll hold on to it through Christmas and then we'll sell it, don't okay. you think? Sounds we need, good. We need some Christmas decorations in here, don't we? Right next to Red Ranger. There you go. You can hardly tell it's him because he's so like. <laughs> <laughs> all right, what else did you get? Oh, I got some really cool vintage glasses. This one's my absolute favorite, though. So Ooh, cute. That is beautiful. I've seen these Muppet ones before, and I've put them in my antique mall booth. They sell. Um, I had one more glass. Let's see. Here it is. This little Chipettes one, though, I've never Ooh. gotten. I've seen it in antique malls before, but I've never bought it. Well, the funny thing is, sitting here looking at this, this will sell so fast in your in, in your so dish booth. So fast. <laughs> Man, you, you, yeah, as much as that as we can find, uh, we'll take. This is pretty good. Um, I'll look these up. I haven't looked them up yet, uh, but I just know from Pat from the history of selling these, I've been getting around twenty, as I said earlier. Uh, but I haven't sold this one specifically, and I feel like if there's if there's one of these that's gonna be better than the others, maybe it's the Joe Cool. Yeah, he's super cool. Yeah. We've gotten him in blue before. Well, the last one I was explaining that to these guys earlier. The last one we had, because remember we sold the Charlie Brown one the other day. Uh, mm -hmm. It was 20 bucks, but it wasn't a sports one. No. This is diamond bags. Yeah. So I, I, I don't know. Um, but we're, we're going to try. We've been selling a lot of Pez at that antique booth. And um, the more of these I can find, the better. It's kind of cool that I've sold one recently and we just keep finding them. Uh, what else? What else? We're gonna just plug this wireless controller. I've played on one of these before. It's honestly not superb, but it's not terrible either. They're just a little plasticky and easy to break. Uh, but we have a testing station where we test our games and stuff. So I'll probably just plug this up to that so I can get some wires out of the way. I would love to go wireless on my gaming station, even with older consoles, because uh, I just hate all the wires everywhere. But you know, that's not the greatest wireless controller. They're pretty cheap. Um, what else? What else? What else? Let's talk about a couple more of your dishes. Tell me about this bad boy. Ooh, this one, I don't know 100% if it's jadeite, but it looks like jadeite and it looks old. So I was like, yep, should definitely get that. Yeah, well, we, we, we'll we figure it out. We'll do the tests required. Uh, but even if it's not, people like to buy that kind of thing from your antique mall anyways. Absolutely. I mean, the color alone is going to make it desirable. It is a little chipped, but it, it's cheap enough, so it's right. fine. All right, well, you got uh, some corning wear? I did. Um, I am going to replace the ones that I have here with this one because cool. I like this pattern a lot. Oh, like you're going to keep it? Like yeah. You, okay, you have that pattern? These are great for pizza cookies. Cool. <laughs> Which we are super into. And I got a pair of Levi shorts. Um, they were a dollar, so that never happens. I definitely scooped it up for that. I don't know if I'm going to make them into color blocks or just sell them as is. It'd yeah. be easier to sell them as is. Yeah, they're so cheap. That's wild. Yeah. All right, let's see. I got a few more things. I'll save that for last so we can go through it. Cool. It was just cheap, so that's um, our Merchant Square Antique Mall. That kind of thing is sold pretty well for me. At our Brass Armadillo West Antique Mall. I guess that's supposed to be him snoring. He's not electronic at all, I don't think. He's just purely mechanical. Um, we've sold a lot, a lot of, oh, what all, uh, Disney-ish, but like a lot of Snow White stuff. I had a bunch of plushies when we first opened that booth. We shot this episode ages ago where we went to the Goodwill bins and there was just bins and bins of plushie. Um, and I brought home of all the, the Seven Dwarfs stuff and put it in that antique mall. It's all gone now, so I feel like if I put that in there, it's probably one of the local people that shop regularly. They're going to be like, oh my God. And they're going to buy that. I feel like that's probably a $15, $20 piece. It could be more. We'll look it up. But it's special. 
it's you can tell it's special, right? Like, yeah. It's just very. He's a little scary. Like. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely scary. Maybe haunted. <laughs> okay, I bought a Pokemon manga, and I bought two video games today. Come around here real quick. You can kind of see my rather small DS collection. The whole back row is DS, so that's roughly 50 games. And then here's a handful. Um, and then here you go is my 3DS. So we'll add two more to that collection today, which uh, I'm very happy about. Even if they're not, I didn't even tell you what they are. They're, they're not games. I mean, I'll try them. I usually stick goofy games like this in just to see if there's any puzzle stuff going on I'd enjoy. But uh, Moshi Monsters. Moshlings theme park. I like that. And then the Groods, my people. They all look <laughs> like me. Um, and then the last thing that I got, probably one of the more exciting things, some Thomas the Tank stuff. And I bought this because it was full of trains. Uh, for the longest time, I skipped out on these kinds of trains. The standard magnet system looks like this. So you can see here the wheel bases are different. See how that weight wheel base fits inside of that one? Standard track, this fits on nice. This little guy here does not. It'll, you can, I mean, if you're a kid with an imagination, you can kind of still get away with it, you know? It'll go on there because one will fit in, but it's not straddling the track like it's supposed to. So these trains aren't technically compatible with the regular tracks. They work okay, but not great. But I have still put these in our antique malls uh, for a, an acceptable price and people still buy them. Uh, people find these to be just as collectible and honestly some people more collectible because uh, the regular sets are wood. These older ones, these are die cast. These are all die cast. So this bag was full of the die cast ones. And uh, I, I'm going to eventually build some sort of add-on for my display. If you're new to the channel and haven't seen us uh, mess around in our antique mall booths recently, I have a custom display for uh, Thomas and Friends stuff. And uh, it's all kind of set up for this track and the trains that are compatible and not for these. And look, here's some even smaller ones. Honestly, I don't think I've ever brought these home before. These are miniature die casts. Thomas and Friends. They're tasty. Some of them are plastic, some of them are die casts. Interesting. Um, so I, it's not very clean right now for me to just go dump these in with the other ones and these because then moms are going to buy these and get them home and realize the tracks don't fit. So I think I'm going to start bundling these in some way. Put them all in a little box of some sort and, and sell a, you know, just sell them separate. And I think that'll be cool. Those are very nice. You can tell their quality, you know. They're very clean. Um, and uh, I love talking. And friends. That's one of the things I, I knew nothing about before we had the channel. I knew a little bit about Nerf and some of the other stuff we messed with before we started the channel, but I knew nothing about Thomas or anything. I, I only got into it because I noticed how much my nephews loved it. So I bought some, tried it at our antique malls, and it went really well, and it's continued to. All right, Hannah, what is your favorite thing that you got today? That's so tough because today I got a lot of good stuff, but I think I'm going to go with specifically the Winnie the Pooh cup. Yeah, for sure. I mean, what do you think you'll put on that? Nine, ten bucks? Yeah, I was thinking to put, I usually do the Disney glasses for six dollars, but I'm thinking maybe a little bit more because this one's so special. Yeah, so. we might, we'll, we'll have to look it up on eBay too first and make sure it's not some, we, we don't come across super special glasses too often, but uh, you never they know. They do exist. They do exist. You never know. Um, I think my favorite thing... I think I'm going to go with your boy, Snoop. <laughs> Snoop Dogg, but yeah. not that Snoop Dogg. <laughs> Pretty happy about that, but this is going to have to win. Um, I have mine put away. I've uh, Some of you guys have sent me a couple of the, the huge Star Wars Pez, and those are the only Pez, I've, the giant Pez that I've kept. Um, all the other ones we found at the thrift store, I've just put my antique mall because they take up a lot of space but i looked over here because usually my star wars pez right there but my inbox stuff over here is uh taking over the game room all right uh you guys comment below before we get out of here let me know what your favorite thing that you that we brought home today was do you like the dishes do you like the holt do you like the trains someone's gonna like this i feel like There's a ball in there and like a tube and it's, it's so weird. Um, also, uh, in the, the description of this video, you'll find a link to our Discord. Come join it today. If you got anything that uh, something Hannah brought home today reminded you of, come to the Discord and show us a picture of it and uh, let us know what you're into. 
so we can keep up with you. That's going to be it, though. We do post daily videos on this channel, so I hope you'll come back tomorrow and hang out with us then. And uh, I don't know what we're going to do tomorrow. It's the weekend, so who knows? But come back to find out. And until tomorrow, guys, peace out.